what's up guys and welcome to another tutorial so today I'll be showing you how to make a motion detection um, system or a silent alarm with manual reset without using an Arduino let's get started actually what you will be needing for this um, tutorial is a PIR motion detection sensor a 7474 I see it's actually a dual D positive edge triggered um, flip-flop we'll be needing a 2N2222 NPN transistor we're going to need a 5 volts DC power supply two switches I mean push buttons um, 5 volts DC relay a breadboard and some jumper wires and two 220 ohm resistors. We may need some optional stuff like extra two um, 220 ohm resistors, two LEDs, um, two pin screw terminal, and an alarm. All right. So first of all, let's start with the D flip flop. So this is the symbol of a D flip flop in a schematic and this is its um, like function table extracted from the data sheet so you can check it later on if you want to. And here we have the IC7474. We are having actually um, two flip flops in this chip. First of all we have here this notch and this is pin 1 this is the ground in pin 7 and the VCC in pin 14 and we have here in pin 1 the clear in pin 2 the D in pin 3 the clock pin 4 is the preset pin 5 is the Q and pin 6 is the Q bar so yeah let's move on to the breadboard just before moving on to the breadboard I have to show you the schematic um, that we'll be using actually this is the schematic for the silent alarm it's going to be um, you know like similar to that of the PIR sensor so first of all we have here our IC7474 and the reset is going to be connected to a switch which goes to the ground and will be at the same time connected to the VCC via a 220 ohm resistor um, secondly the D is going to be connected to the VCC and then the clock here it's connected to the um, ground via a switch and to the VCC via a resistor 220 ohm resistor um, actually you can reverse this we can connect it to the ground via resistor and to the VCC via the switch then moving on here we have the um, set the set is connected to the VCC and we have here in pin 5 the Q we are connecting this guy to um, a LED but I'll be connecting this to a transistor and then to a relay actually to turn on and turn off an alarm alright so when we are using the PIR sensor indeed the clock will be connected directly to the um, you know like data coming from the PIR sensor so we're not going to wire it neither to a switch nor to a resistor to the VCC all right so let's move on to the breadboard all right so here we have the 7474D um, flip-flop as you see here this is the notch this is pen number one ground VCC we have here the um, clear then the D then the clock then the set then the Q Q bar and this is 
what we're gonna be using in this tutorial so I'm going to plug this in here my breadboard all right so first thing first we're going to connect the VCC and the ground so pin number 14 goes to the VCC pin number 7 goes to the ground all right and the um, pin number one is the reset so we're going to connect our push button to pin number one as you see here and then the other terminal of the push button is going to be connected to the ground and pin number one is going to be connected to the VCC via a 220 ohms resistor alright here we go and pin number two is the D so it's connected to the um, VCC then we have the clock the clock now is going to be connected to a switch so we're making this for the um, we're making this actually for the silent alarm just right now so yeah as you see here and then connected to v vcc and actually it's going to be wired to the ground via 820 ohms resistor all right then actually we're going to connect the um set or preset to the vcc just like this we're going to plug in our um npn transistor as you see here we're going to connect the mill pen to the q here which is pen number five in the um ic and pin number one here in the uh, NPN transistor is going to be connected to the VCC. And now I'm going to plug in my 5 volt DC um, relay. As you see here. Alright. So here I have in this pen. I have the um, VCC pen and this pin is the ground or the reverse and here I have the common here is the normally open and the normally closed so I'm connecting this pen to the ground and this pen to the third leg of the NPN transistor as you see yep all right here we go okay so actually let's test this out and see if it's working or not i'm plugging in my dc power supply all right so let's hit the button and bang the relay is on let's hit the reset button okay so it goes off Okay, so to test this um, more accurately, actually, I'm going to connect some light emitting diodes just to um, know when the relay is on and when is it off. So the long leg goes to this pin and the short leg is going to be connected to the ground via a 220 ohms resistor okay so let's press the button oh oops I forgot to put my um, VCC connection and ground okay let's hit the button so the relay is on let's reset the relay is off okay so this is cool actually to ensure that this is a working um, 
this is a working silent alarm I have here a um, I know it's it's too big but it's a 20 meters um, cable here so I'll be testing this silent alarm through a 20 meters cable just to ensure that it's working fine all right so let's go for this all right and because it's gonna be a little bit you know kind of pain i have just um wired the pins of the um switch to crocodile wires in here to these two red and black wires of the 20 meters cable and here I'm not sure if you can see this okay I have here the other terminals of the red wire and the black wire and I'm going just to let them touch each other and hopefully this um, can work okay so let's give it a shot so now I'm I'll make them touch each other and BAM it's really working oh man yep it's working fine so you know it, it, it's it's really cool it's it's actually you know you, this is 20 meters cable you can install it wherever you want and using a small switch you can have your very own um, silent alarm which is really powerful okay and to demonstrate this more for you I'm going to connect my screw terminals just right now all right so back again here i've connected my screw terminal just right here to the relay to the common pin and the normally open pin and here i have an ac socket from a kind of extension cable actually which is connected to the ac wall socket and this is connected to an old door bell here i have so this will act as my alarm so whenever the system is on this should work okay so let's give it a shot as you see all is working fine okay guys, so let's move on to the pir motion detection sensor part all right so i have just removed my screw terminal and the ac extension cable for now and i've also removed the button of the silent alarm and its connection to the vcc and the ground okay so here i have my pir motion detection sensor as you see right here it has here three pins it has the vcc pin the out pin and the ground pin i'm not sure if you can see this uh, all right so as you see here these are the, the pens that goes out from this um, PIR sensor okay so actually I'm going to connect the um, VCC and the ground of the PIR sensor all right so now I've connected the VCC and the ground for um, the PIR sensor so now this is the out pin which is going to go to the clock of my flip flop and bam we're done okay so now i'm going just to add a um another led just to test the um output of this pir sensor because this pir sensor whenever it detects an object actually it produces a kind of pulse for a um, certain time it's adjusted by um, one of these potentiometers here and the other is responsible for the um, you know distance of detection okay so it's up to seven meters detection and I guess it's starting um, the, the I guess the the shortest time of the pulse is like um, 15 seconds or 10 seconds I'm not sure I'm not quite sure okay we're now gonna test it and no. So I'm connecting this LED to the out of the sensor. So we know for how long will this sensor send us the pulse. I've adjusted it for the minimum um, time. So let's give it a shot. So I'm connecting this guy to this out here. 
and the other pin is going to be connected to the ground via a 220 ohms resistor and we should be good to go now okay so let's power up the circuit and see if everything is going on good or not okay um actually right now the sensor is in kind of calibration mode so it's just need a um, couple of seconds just to um, settle down so we we'll wait for like 15 seconds or so okay I guess now we're good to go I'll reset this guy and just move my hand all right so as you see here the red lamp yeah it, it stuck so yeah now the pulse just lasted for this time but the D flip flop just um you know kept its state of on state until I manually reset this guy as I do just right here all right so let's give it another try and bang it works I'm going to connect also my screw terminal and give it a try with the alarm all right so now I have my screw terminal connected here and the um, this extension is connected to the AC socket and my door bell right behind me so let's give this a shot and bam as you see it's working fine here all right so um, I guess that's it guys for this tutorial I know it's been a long tutorial but I actually showed you how to make a silent alarm and a PIR motion sensor based uh, motion detection system and all of this with a manual reset and what is more interesting that all of this is done without an Arduino all right so that's it guys thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial which is going to include an Arduino so please stay tuned for that and thanks a lot for watching have a nice day